This video is the first in this playlist of following the journey of a real money US stocks portfolio. Today I'm going to show you a systematically executed real money loss trade which was traded in the stocks portfolio. In this chronicle of the life journey of this portfolio, you'll see plenty of real money loss trades because more than half of the trades in the life of this portfolio have been loss trades. But the portfolio is still outperforming nearly all mutual funds and has outperformed the S&P 500 total return index for most of its life. You'll also see this outperformance in the Real Money ASX portfolio playlist of videos. And at the end of every month, I'll provide a performance update for this Real Money portfolio. Now, every investor has lost trades. I'm sure you also experience this so-called problem. As a regular viewer on this channel, I'll show you how to solve the problem of having your fair share of lost trades, but still be very profitable. You see, the trick is not only how many winners you have, but more importantly, how big the winners are relative to the losers. And the trick to that little equation, which I'll explain in detail in future videos, is how you exit your profit trades and how you exit your loss trades. If you don't know of me, I'm Gary Stone, founder of Sharewell Systems. I've completed many thousands of stock trades since 1990 in all sorts of market conditions and have been trading real money portfolios in the public eye for over 10 years. I've always done this behind closed doors, so to speak, for the benefit of our customers. This month, I've come out on this YouTube channel and am now showing anybody who would like to learn how to trade the stock market with a system. In a moment, I'll show you the actual real money loss trade. But if you're enjoying this video so far, please comment with the word enjoy in the comments below. We get calls all the time from new customers who have this problem of dealing with lost trades, looking to learn more about how to handle them in their portfolios. And we love it because we know that we'll be able to help them resolve this problem in due course, provided they get to understand a handful of principles about a certain arithmetic equation and how to think about the market. This will all be revealed in future videos. Whether you're looking to learn to trade straight away in three months time or a year from now, give us a call, send us an email or schedule a Zoom call. We are happy to help you make that smooth transition to being a successful long-term investor in the stock market. Now I'm going to take you through a chart of SQM, Sierra Quebec Mike, a New York Stock Exchange listed stock domiciled in Chile. I won't even try to pronounce the full company name. You can look it up for yourself. And I'm not going to cover any fundamentals or any other background information about the stock because such information is irrelevant to doing this trade or any trade for that matter in this portfolio, which makes use of a mechanical trend following system to make all of its decisions. You can see here on the chart that an entry signal occurred on Friday the 21st of October 2022 to be entered the following trading day on Monday the 24th of October. A buy signal occurs on a particular day, as does a sell signal. Each signal is unambiguous and being a rules-based process must be acted on without question, hesitation or reservation. Entering a position is easy because the outcome at this stage is break even, less commissions. At the start of a trade, most people hope that the price will rise and the trade will be profitable, thereby projecting an expectation into the future of a desired outcome and setting up a mental picture of feeling right about their decision to buy and eventually winning. But if the trade goes against you, you set yourself up for feeling despair, being wrong and feeling all the emotional pain that comes with that type of thinking. This will typically end up with you blaming something or somebody else and feeling like a victim, full of pity and probably embarrassed. These feelings more than likely will lead to not following the exit signal if it locks in a lost trade. The whole idea behind using a rules-based process is to follow the rules on which your process is based. Anything else is not following your chosen process. And if the trade goes as you expected, you will feel elated, justified, smart and eager to repeat the whole process again, having taken full ownership of your win. As this trade turned out, SQM's price rose after entry behaving as it should with a higher peak and a higher trough. This happened as expected in the first three weeks of the trade. Suddenly over the next five days, SQM's price dropped to below the original entry price. Now things weren't looking that good. When a trader anticipates a winning trade, 
Their emotions will ride the ups and downs of the market. This is not a good thought pattern. If you want to be successful in the markets for the long term, you'll experience emotional burnout and before long will give up the game, typically with your overall portfolio having lost money, either forever or until you return and have another go. SQM's price rose from here to make a lower peak and then fell again to be where it was 12 trading days earlier still below the entry price for the trade and in lost territory. A day later it fell sharply and generated an unambiguous exit signal to be sold on the following trading session on the 16th of December 2022. This was a 9.45% loss trade, including broking commissions. Whilst taking a loss is hard for beginners, seasoned traders take them in their stride, knowing full well where they fit in the equation of their statistical edge. I'll explain what that is in detail in other videos. In the meanwhile, here's the key takeaway from this session. Quote unquote, every small loss is a victory against a large loss. Large loss trades are portfolio killers in dollars, but also do your trading psyche great damage. They simply must be avoided if at all possible. And this is achieved by having an unambiguous and unemotional predetermined exit trigger to cut the loss short if the trade goes against you, which is typically caused by some unknown set of changing variables that negatively affect the stock's price. I trust that you've learned a little from this short story about a real money loss trade. How profit and loss trades pan out over a large sample of trades is really what all traders simply have to learn and understand and is what I'll be drumming home through lots of trade examples and portfolio performance comparisons over the coming months and years in this playlist. Until next time, when I look forward to showing you around the markets again, I wish you consistent and objective investing. Before I go, a quick heads up. Whilst this is the first video in this playlist, there are going to be plenty more about the journey of this stock's portfolio. In this chronicle, I'll fill you in on the real money portfolio performance and the trades, profit and loss, over the last seven years, there have been some juicy profit trades and one or two shockers, and I mean shockers, with big price shocks to the downside. So if you want to be the first to be notified about the ongoing story of this real money portfolio and learn all the ins and outs of trading the stock market with a the system, then subscribe to the channel and tap the bell to get notifications of future video recordings.